Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Tauren Shaman playthrough. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope everyone's doing well today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you for deciding to spend a few moments of your day with me. We are over in Thousand Needles. We're going to begin the Call of Air quest, uh, which is in this cave here, and uh, just basically straight ahead of us. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Welcome, 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 welcome to all the new subscribers. Tons of new subscribers over the next, over the past uh, few days, few weeks. And uh, the most, uh, the, the best thing is our, my uh, first hardcore video has gone viral. And it is over 5,000 views, which is absolutely incredible, guys. Thank you so much. And so in that case... We're actually going to be starting another hardcore series on a Horde playthrough. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do... Uh, and we're going to turn it into the normal rotation with uh, our normal video. So it'll be... We'll do a... I'll do a Dragonflight Classic and then Hardcore. Dragonflight Classic Hardcore. That's kind of our, our rotation uh, moving forward. And it'll be a Horde Hardcore and then an Alliance Hardcore with my Dwarf Hunter that I've already started. So that's the plan right now. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do Classic Hardcore or if I'm going to do uh, Wrath of the Lich King Hardcore. I'm, I'm leaning toward doing another Wrath playthrough uh, with like maybe an undead character um, is what I'm really leaning toward. So we'll see. I haven't decided just yet. All right, let's start the uh, Call of Air quest. Call of Air. For the time being, I shall give you what you need to focus your spells and to call upon the spirits of air. Take this totem, and when you're ready, train me, train with me some more. Really? That was it? Go talk to this lady and you get a... She gives me my air totem? No way. No, no, that's right. Wow. Well, that was easy enough, guys. <laughs> The other ones are actual quests. This was nothing. Okay. A test of faith. You have sought me out, or perhaps destiny brings you to me. No matter, you are here now, so you will begin your journey anew. Many facets make up a being. The spirit, the body, the mind. Some of these can be measured by culture's traditions. Others we can only hope exist within ourselves. If you agree, I shall test some of these facets for you, within you. If you pass, then you shall become stronger. If you fail, then you will realize the vastness of the nether. The first is a test of faith. If you have faith, leak from the planks overlooking Thousand Needles. Oh, okay. It's a leap of faith. I don't think I've ever done this quest before. That I can remember. Hmm. Whee! It is not until faced with unforeseen adversity that we begin to grow strong. How, see how strong our spirits are. You took the leap of faith, and even though you have no guarantees that you would survive, your mind is open, and your spirit is prepared for what is to come. What is to come? If you are willing, then the next year test is ready. We shall meet. Test of endurance. I am pleased to see your courage remain steadfast in the light of what you have already done, since your faith is intact. The time has come to test your body. First is the test of endurance. Go to the rogue feather den west of Free Wind Post. Make your way to the depths of their lair and destroy their foodstuffs. By then, you will have provoked this, their, their fury, and you'll be able to survive long enough. Grinka Bloodscreech herself will come for you. Kill her and bring me her claw to complete your test. Oh, cool. Increased movement and attack speed. Okay, so we're going over here, it looks like. We also have this level 30 elite quest here. We also need to do the alien egg. So I'm going to make a circle. I'll make my way around here over to this cave, which is where I need to go, and I'll look for the egg in these three locations. We'll see if we can find it. I don't see anything here. Oh.
Now let's take a closer look just to make sure. The only thing about that bad thing about Call of the Elements is it takes a lot of mana. Alright, no alien egg here. And I get a tiny bit back by recalling them. There it is. Alright, we have the alien egg. Let's go to the cave now. I think I'll make us follow the road up here and we'll, we'll cut across once we get on the other side of Freewind Post. I'm really amazed that Call of Air Quest was just, here, go talk to this lady. <laughs> so weird. Oh, nice. Let me get it. I wonder if I should stop and buy some more. If I'm going to keep doing the um, Call of the Elements, I'm probably going to need some more drinks. I think I will. Let's stop here and grab some more drinks really quick on our way over to the uh, other cave. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I did. Nice. Let's see, Braille's good, I need this. Now, we should have plenty. Might as well pop one really quick. I must know more about this mysterious egg. Who knows what will hatch from it? Whoa. Yes, finally, the mysterious egg has finally been delivered to me. Now, let me take a closer look. Wait, what's what is this? What what is this? If you do not see it with my own eyes, I wouldn't I wouldn't believe it to be true. Vengeance has come to Thousand Needles. Hagar wipes his brow. Edom, you must act quickly. Go now and seek out Montega Fireman. He is located at White Reach Post, just northwest of uh, northwest of Freeman Post along the road. He will know what to do. We show you to okay, where is he? Oh, he's over there. He's over next to the goblin. Let's not fall off the uh, giant mesa and die. I just said that. Wow. Should not have used my... <laughs> wow. Thank goodness it's not hardcore.
Coming through. Lots of cloud serpents. Really? Why am I not attacking him? Come on. Oh, I'm out of food. Oh no, I got more food. I got more cheese. That works. Oh, I also need to do my inscription research for the day. I have not done that either. I'm starting to run out of mats. I can't believe it's already been... 45 days or whatever. Oh no, I'll put some in the... No, I got them all out of the bank. Hmm. I got Cliff of Mend Pet. Let's see, I wonder if I go up and over this little ridge right here. Kill this hyena in the way. Yeah, that, that one attack, or that one um, call of the elements takes 10% of my mana. But if I'm in a big area, you know, it's not that bad. If I'm in an area full of enemies. Okay. Where's the cave entrance? It shows it's right here. Oh, it's up there. I see now. I knew I was going to do that. Holy crap, got three of them. What the hell? Oh, I'm silenced. And I'm silenced again. Are you serious? I'm going to die, guys, because I don't have any... Yep, I'm dead. Wow. Okay. Well, that did not go according to plan this morning. I thought I could slide by those guys. Debating on passing on that quest. Those shredder pages. These guys are taking up space in my inventory that I need. All right, guys, new plan. Kill the harpies. One at a time. No more of that crap. <clears throat> I do not have any of my... I wasn't even ready at all. <laughs> not warmed up this morning with my shaman. All right. Let's try that again. Do I have any more healing potions? I do not. Need to send some of this to my tailor. Eight 
and she resisted it. Silence, man, that sucks. Okay. Well, that was a little better than last time. And I got stuck there too. That was the other problem. Let's pop a heal really quick just before I get up the top here. Is that why I'm going in at full health? Yeah, definitely going to be drinking a lot more now. The good thing is I picked up this... Uh, oh, i got another talent to use. That'll be, that'll be helpful too. It reduces, still reduces the cost of my totems. Care to attack him, Searing Totem? There you go. <clears throat> so nice, though, to have them all out. I really like when I get Wind Fury Totem. That'd be nice. need more food too. Maybe I'll start using bandages instead of food just to save money or save food. Ah. 
That silence really sucks. Wow, there's a lot of harpies in here. Okay, let's see. I need the food stuff. So there they are. Come on, come over here. <clears throat> Where are you going? Come back here. Okay. I got respawned in a hurry. Jeez. All right, go back here. I'll drink, eat, and drink really quick before I destroy their their food, and then I will uh, be ready for the boss when she pops out. Totem first. No, she's not that hard. Oh, I thought she'd be a lot harder than that. Oh, look, a chest. Nice, nice. Put my um, I'm gonna drop my fire totem on let's see, where is it? I'm gonna drop searing totem here on three. That way at least I can drop all of them or I can just drop the fire totem because the fire totem does die sometimes. So it's nice to have the option. I guess I could use Astral Recall. I forgot I had that now. Ah. Oh, crap. Probably gonna die again here, guys. Yep, I'm dead. Wow. We're dying a lot this morning, guys. No, I don't want to do that. 
Jeez. What is wrong with us this morning? Just got ganged up on by those harpies there. That silence, dude. That silence sucks. I wish my healing stream did a little bit more healing because it just it just barely takes away you know just tiny bits I should have just used astral recall is what I should have done <clears throat> I thought I put it right here what did I do oh there it is right there yeah dummy me that's what I exactly what I should have done and I'm going the wrong way what I'll do is I'll go farther down this hallway where I just came from. Yeah. Let's ask to recall over here. Should have just done that to start with. I forgot that has a 15 minute cooldown. And it doesn't use my hearth. Totally forgot about that. Very, very nice. Okay, let's heal up. go talk to the uh, dude in the cave again. And then we'll make our way back over to the, uh, the dude over here at the camp, the caravan camp. I put loop music on. I think I did. Uh, I did. I think it really helps immerse us into the world a little bit more if, if loop music is on. You must be prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally for the challenges that lie ahead of you. Too often we do we rush forward before we are ready. I consider of I consider it of my duty to the youth, uh, no matter which tribe they belong to, to prepare them for the dangers they may face after they leave the sanctity of their home. Grinka was powerful, even by Torrent standards. You should be proud of your accomplishment this day. During your test of faith, you displayed spirit, strength of spirit, and now you have shown endurance in battle by taking on the rogue feather harpies. But now the time has come for a new test. During the time of the old gods, this is a test of strength. During the time of the old gods, elementals inhabited much of this world. They worshiped the old gods, and their gods, and the gods through their power kept the elementals bound to this world. When the old gods were banished, the elementals faded from our world and now only return at the bidding of powerful mages. They are no, there are some exceptions though. There are exceptions though. Some elementals were powerful enough to remain here on their own. One such elemental is Rock Alim. To rest, test your, to test your strength, find Rock Alim and Thousand Needles and slay him. I've never heard of this quest. Uh, oh, wow. That's a huge pat area. Holy cow. Okay. Well, we got to go over there to the other, find that other dude anyways. 
uh, here at the caravan. So we'll look for this guy as we're as we make our way that way. Jeez, that's a massive area to look for him. I wish it showed up on my mini-map, that way I could easily follow the uh, the path. But I don't think it does. Kodo Skin Scroll. To face Frostmaw. It's a level 37 quest. Hmm. Frostmaw's main. Oh, Alterac Mountains. What level is this guy? I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Now I can see it better. It doesn't say plus, so it's not a uh, it's not an elite quest. We just have to find him. That's the problem. I'm betting it's a big rock elemental. So at least we know what we're looking for. See, I wish it showed the little red line on your map. That would be cool. Alright, so we're gonna cut this corner here. Looking for this guy. And I have no idea which direction he pats, so that's not going to be fun. Leave me alone, Cougar. I don't have time for you. Alright, so here's this guy. We need to talk to him. Spirit Wild. Vengeance. So the legend of Akira, Arika, Arikara is true. Indeed, this is a problem that must be resolved immediately. Fire. Sacred Fire. Arikara is a deadly creature that must be dealt with swiftly. In order to hunt her down, you will need the light of the Sacred Fire of Life. This will summon Arikara. Go now and harvest the rare Incendia Avgave plant. Once you have harvested enough Agave, seek counsel with Magatha Grimtotem on Elder Rise and Thunder Bluff. She is a powerful shaman that can create... Uh, that can enchant the agave plant to create a powder that will light the fire. Travel northeast to the boiling pool and gather incendia agave. And that's over here, yeah. <clears throat> that's those elementals I got into when I first got to the zone here. Went running through that that lake. That boiling lake. Okay, yeah, we're not going to do that. What level are we? Just level 30? I'm trusting Questy on this too to follow this line. So. Now we're going to make the turn here. There's some. Is that wild steel bloom? Yep. Take all the herbs we can get because there's not many herbs in this area. And, and thousand needles. Oh, 
Oh, leave me alone, cougar. Oh, there he is. What are the odds of that, guys? We found him. Look at that. He has a friend, too. Oh, he's immune to Earth Shock. Nice. We got him. I just saw that different colored rock elemental. I was like, ooh, maybe that's him. Or earth elemental. And it was. I guess we could go hit up the uh, the pools really quick before we go turn that in. Since this one's green to us, we want to knock it out relatively quickly. It's only three levels below us, but we may as well. That's cool. Herbalism actually it shows up on my map. And a pool of scalding water. But yet it doesn't hurt me. There's a warlock here too. That warlock's cleared a lot of these guys out.
Yeah, I think that warlock was doing the same thing I were, were doing. Don't think there's one up here, but let's go see. Oh, there is. That's interesting because that wasn't even showing up on my uh, herbalism radar. Come on, dude. Two more, and I see two more on the radar on the mini map. Man, these guys hit hard. Jeez, for level twenty-seven. Awesome. I need to get some fish oil so I can walk on water. There we go. Out of the water. All right, we'll eat and drink really quick. We'll we're not swimming. All right, I think I have to take this to... Let's see, a thousand needles. Yeah, I have to take it to Thunder Bluff. All right, so let's just, let's see. I need to go back to this guy. Let's start, back, let's uh, Astral Recall back over to free wind post and then we'll go we'll run over here to this cave again hopefully that'll give us to level 31 level 15 Wool, wool. Yeah, I need to send this stuff to my tailor, which is my warlock over on my blood elf warlock. Oh, come on.
Ow. Oh. I tried to cast Wind Shear, but that didn't work. Well, that leveled me up. <laughs> nice, level 31. We get our last uh, cheap totems. That's nice. Okay, now the rest of my... I'll probably go... Let's see, I don't think there's anything else. Let's see, healing spells, threat, reincarnation. No, we'll go... The uh, rest of it goes in enhancement moving forward. I don't think there's anything in elemental I need. Yeah, I definitely want to reduce... The shocker spells. Oh, damage done by five percent on my shock spells if I do it. Put it in that, but one percent's not a lot. Five percent's not a lot either. All right. Anyways, Rockalim. It was also called the Pounder of Centaur. Also called the Pounder by the Centaur tribes in Thousand Needles because of the thundering his fist makes as he pummels the creatures, creatures brave or stupid enough to stand in his path. Ooh. The test of strength is done. You have shown strength and bravery, and you are now prepared for the final test before these rites are completed. The test of lore. Your time with me is just about finished. I am knowledgeable. I am knowledgeable, but the test of lore is not mine to give. There are lessons to be learned and places to visit other than the claim that others claim domain over. You, if you are prepared, then seek out Brog Dim Spirit. He is a shaman of great wisdom. He will teach you further. So heed his words, Edom. We need to when you are ready, find the tunnel that connects Stone Talon Mountains with Ashenvale. Brog dwells near there, and be careful, Edom. The Night Elves may wish to impede your next t your test. Ancestors. Okay, it takes me all the way to Stone Talon? Ugh. Okay. I'll tell you what, let's make the run over here. We'll pick up these quests in Shimmering Flats, and I'm going to run down to Tanaris and pick up Gadget Zan. Uh, the flight path there. I think that sounds like a winner. For the rest of this episode. And then next episode, we'll make our way back up to Thunder Bluff, and we'll turn that in. And we'll head up to Stone Talon Mountains. Go ahead and turn that in. Or the quest that we, have, we just picked up. We'll work on that quest of lore. Forty Blood Up Hunter. Nice. Wish there's a flight path out here. I know Cataclysms when they added all the flight paths, and they flooded this whole area. <laughs> Because of the breach in the wall right here from uh, Deathwing. Except right now, it's a pod racing arena. Which is a really cool Star Wars Easter egg. Because, let's see, I think it was 2001 is when... Uh, Episode 1 came out. Star Wars Episode 1. Is that right? Or 99? Maybe it's 99. 
98, 99. Anyways. So they added pod racing because of that. See? Right there, over there, maybe. Arden Shells. My brother is working on a new fuel for his rocket car. He is brilliant. He really is. So brilliant that I think that new fuel he's designing is strong enough to eat right through the char car's chassis. We want to reinforce his fuel tanks before that happens. The tortoises out in the flats have very hard shells. I want to use them to create new tanks for our rocket car. Tanks that should hold my brother's new fuel. You look responsible enough. Will you give me those shells? Off and away. Honored, I'm sure. Salt Flat Venom. We have many designs for our rocket car. So many. And I must try them all. We are working on a new type of fuel. One that burns really, really, really hot. I have gotten my perfect mixture. I haven't gotten the perfect mixture, but I think I know what I need. The scorpions who wander the shimmering flats have a venom with lots and lots of salt in it. It's very unique, and it's just what I need. Bring me the venom, and trust me, our car will fly. Off and away. You got my attention. Very good. Hey, hey, rocket car parts. Hey, hey, with all the races turn running here, it's no surprise that a few mishaps happen along the way. If you look around the shimmering flats, then you'll find evidence of past crashes. Scraps of rocket car parts are littered everywhere, and those parts are worth money to gnomes and goblins. They're always, they're always looking for more contraptions to slap onto their cars. So go out and get me those parts. Bring me a heap, and I'll pay what you pay you will. Talk to me. All right, so this is a quest to Hemic Western Jr. and Stranglethorns. That's a breadcrumb to Stranglethorn, and the other one's red to us. Dwarf Master Dizzy Wig. I just says take him to Ratchet. Dwarf Master Dizzy Wig. I made my job to get. I make it my job to get people what they need, and the gnomes over there uh, need a part order field. Their parts were shipped to Ratchet a week ago, but I haven't been able to make the trip. So, are you ready to, for some legwork? Go to Ratchet and give the parts order to Wharfmaster Dizzywig. He'll probably be at the docks. Do this for me and I'll have more jobs for you. Jobs, my friend, with serious profit potential. Very good. Okay. I'm not going to pick up the... Uh, I don't think I'm going to do Stranglethorn on this character. We're doing Stranglethorn on my Warlock, so... I don't think I want to do it on this guy. Uh, I don't see a quest here. Yep, see, here's the pod razor. That's so funny. Load lightning. When it comes to racing, every bit counts. When it's minor tweaking, whether it's minor tweaking on the power output or slightly slackening the tension coils or lightening the weight of the frame, you'll have to take everything into account. We use vulture bones for a lot of stru minor structural tweaks to make our racers when we make our racers, which offer the perfect balance of strength and weight. Even better, it's easier for us to get more. With the salt flats, is littered with vultures. Bring me some and I'll give you a good price on them. Right back. Lots of stuff to kill, lots of gather quests. A bump in the road. After the big crash with the goblins, Red Thunder Racer and a Basilisk, Kronk, ri Kronk Rider, uh, Kronk Rider, hired me to take care of the track. I don't know what animals out there. I don't know what all animals out on the flats are feeding on to grow so big, but we have to be careful to thin them out so they won't wander onto the track when a race is going on. Tell you what, if you want to go out and make a little profit, go out and remove the basilisks from the area. Okay. And let's see, that's the Hemet Nessuarian quest. I don't know what this, I don't know what this repeatable quest is. Yeah, I don't even see it. That's okay. All right, let's make our way over to Gadget Zen and go from there. Why did Questy jump so far up? Oh, we just we got it. We got a ton of quests just then. And we'll kill our way over there. May as well. Ooh, these guys are level 34.
Well, I got to spawn there. Thank goodness for my uh, grounding totem. Their petrify is not hitting me. I guess I should stop them from casting, anyways. This guy's not going down. Jeez. No, well, he's level. He's level 35. I mean, dang. Oh, so I need 10 of these guys. I need 6 of these. Okay. So the gazers are the one that. Uh, the gazers are the ones that petrify. A lot of basilisks. Oops, cast wind shear too late on that one. All right, guys, we're running an hour. I want to go ahead and head on over to uh, Gadget Zam. We're just running through the mountains here. And then we'll log out there, and I'll pick it back up here next time. We'll go ahead and finish all these quests up, and then we'll make our way on up to uh, Stone Talon. I've got a quest to turn in. And let's see, where is this? Orgrimmar. Got to go to Orgrimmar. Got to go to Thunder Bluff, and we have to go to Stone Talon. So we'll make kind of the, the trio up there. Maybe at the beginning of next episode, so that way we can move, come on back here to uh, continue leveling here in Thousand Needles. I like Tanaris. Tanaris is a fun zone. Tanaris, Tanaris, however you say it. Go ahead and pick up the flight path here. Oh, Frostmaw. Okay. Why is it showing down here? That's weird. Huh. Oh, well. Is this the end? This isn't the end. What am I doing? Here's the end. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. Hope you come back for more uh, Shaman action. And then we're going to, like I said, after this uh, this series, we're going to throw another hardcore in there. I uh, haven't decided what I'm doing just yet, but I'll make that decision in the next couple of days. Thank you, guys. Really do appreciate it. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Please come back for more. Until then, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.